Hi mathematicians, this is Mr. Almeida. I hope you are doing well. In today's video, I am going to show you how to evaluate expressions when you are dealing with numbers um, that are not whole numbers. So in this case, we have mixed numbers and fractions. Um, so what we're going to do is always go back to the idea that when we're evaluating expressions, we have come up with a, an agreed upon way to find the operations and, and do them in a particular order. Uh, what we call this is the order of operations, and I'm going to write the uh, mnemonic off to the side in the right-hand corner to help you out, to help you remember what the order of operations actually is all about. So remember, the G stands for grouping symbols, so I put a star next to that because technically it's not an operation. They just tell us to do this first. Then we have exponents. Then on the next level are multiplication and division from left to right. And then addition and subtraction from left to right on the final level. So what this means is we're going to look for all grouping symbols. And if we don't have any grouping symbols, then we're going to move on to exponents. And once we take care of all the exponents, we're going to do multiplication and division from left to right. We could have division come before multiplication because they're on the exact same level, okay? And the same goes with addition or subtraction. Subtraction could come before addition as we're going from left to right. All right, so the very first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to um, go through the order and see what we're doing first. Are there any grouping symbols in this expression? Two and one half minus three fifths times one half. No, there aren't. So we're going to move to the next level. Right now we're on exponents. Are there any exponents in this expression? No. So I'm moving to the next level, which is multiplication or division from left to right. Once you see multiplication or division, you are going to put grouping symbols around the two numbers that are around that operate, uh, operation, okay? So once you see multiplication division, you say stop, and we're gonna put grouping symbols around three-fifths times one-half. Okay, so let's do that. This is what we're going to do first. And then we are going to copy everything else that is not, that we just didn't just group just now. So we're going to copy equals 2 and 1 half minus, and we're going to leave a blank right here for whatever 3 fifths times 1 half is. Just leave this blank, okay? Off to the side, we're going to do our work for this. All right, 3 fifths times 1, one half. When we are doing, um, when we are multiplying uh, fractions, we're going to employ the product formula, which says that we're going to multiply the numerators across um, all over the product of the denominators, which means we're going to multiply the denominators. Okay? So off to the side, I'm just going to show that. 3 times 1, which is the product of the numerators of these fractions, all over the product of the denominators, which is 5 times 2, the product of the denominators of these fractions. All right, um, before we multiply, we're gonna see if we can simplify. Um, I'm going to see if there's a number that can divide three and five besides one. The answer is no. What about three and two besides one? No, so therefore that's in simplest form. Now we can multiply. Three times one is three all over. Five times two is 10. We get three tenths. So I am subtracting three tenths. So we put three tenths right in the blank right here, okay? Now, what operation uh, do we have? Do we have any more multiplication or division? No, we do have addition and subtraction right here. So we're gonna do the subtraction next. Now, when you're dealing with subtracting mixed numbers, you're going to wanna make sure that you have the same denominators. Uh, you're also gonna wanna make sure so that your, your work is as less complicated as, as it can be, you're gonna to wanna to keep your mixed numbers mixed numbers, okay? So we're gonna keep this as a mixed number, but we're gonna write an equivalent mixed number off to the side. So we have two and one half. We're gonna make an equivalent mixed number by multiplying it by, now you could multiply the numerator and denominator by this other fraction's denominator, and then multiply the three and the two by this other fraction's denominator, um, and that would give you an equivalent fraction and mixed number. However, I'm looking at this and I'm seeing two times what whole number can equal 10? 
and that's 5. So I'm going to multiply both numerator and denominator by 5, okay? So you are welcome to multiply numerator and denominator of 2 and a half by 10 if you'd like. All right, uh, then, you would, then you would have to multiply the 3 and the 10 by 2. However, to save myself a little bit of work, I'm just going to m make this denominator 10 because this den now denominator is already 10 as well. All right, so we have equals 2 and 5 tenths, okay? And that's what that is. I forgot to copy the minus 3 tenths. And then we're going to copy minus 3 tenths right here. Now, when you're subtracting mixed numbers, you want to subtract the fractions first. So, and then subtract the whole numbers. So I'm trying to subtract 3 tenths. Do I have at least 3 tenths? Yes. So I'm going to do 5 tenths minus 2 tenths, uh, 3 tenths, which is 2 tenths. Okay? So I have 2 tenths here. And then 2 whole units minus 0 whole units is 2 whole units. So we get 2 and 2 tenths. Okay? Um, what I'm looking at is I can leave my answer as 2 and 2 tenths if, I, um, if the directions don't ask me to rewrite it in simplest form. But I know that um, I can divide both the 2 and the 10 by a factor of 2. So I am going to write an equivalent fraction to that. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So in simplest form, this is 2 and 1 fifth. And that's how you evaluate that expression. Okay? So just because you see fractions and, and mixed numbers doesn't mean that things start to change. The order of operations is still followed.